Okay, quick here, I got a quick question about making groups and components. So I'm going to make a component and a group, and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So here's a component, or here's a group that we're going to make as a rectangle. Make group. Turn this one into make component. So, I have a group here, component here. Now they both look about the same, they do the same thing. The difference is when I make a copy of them. So we'll make a copy of the component. And we'll make a copy of the group. Copy of group, copy of component. Okay. Now when I edit a group and I push pull it, nothing happens to the other one. Okay. But watch what happens with the power of components. Right here, edit a component the other one changes automatically. I go back to edit this one, draw a circle on it, it's dynamically changing the first one. So that is the power of components versus power of groups. Now let's say I made a bunch of components and I want to turn this into a group because it has to be different. I need one that needs to be different and I have 30 of these in the in the model. What I can do is right click on it and hit make unique and then this has become a group instead of a component and I can push pull this one and change it however I need to change it. So hopefully that answered your question. Thanks a lot for the feedback. It's great to get those questions in there and enjoy. hopefully you enjoyed the little tutorial on groups versus components.